Hello everyone, this is Joseph. I'm here with Elizabeth Craft Designs today. I'm with JN Unique Designs here having fun with you on the Elizabeth Craft Designs Facebook page. I hope you can see this. Um, just logging in a couple minutes early just to see everybody how they're doing. Seeing if my camera works here. Looks like, hello Sharon, hello Pauline, hello 13 other people. I think I am on, if I'm not mistaken. Hello Ellie, hello Janny, and 21 other people. I guess there's, let's see here. Good morning everybody, this is Joseph. I'm happy to be with you today from Elizabeth Craft Designs from my little work desk today here. I hope everybody's doing well. I'm trying to get rid of the shadows there. Let's see here. That should work. That works better. There we go. Let me see if I can get the comments here. Good evening to those across the pond in the UK. Hi, Linda. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Terry. Hi, Honora. Hi, Dana. Hi, Annette. I hear Annette uh, will be showing us how to make flowers in the next couple of days. I'm looking forward to that, Annette, I really am. Can everybody hear me okay? I just wanna give you a couple more seconds here until we begin. Thank you so much for being here with me here at Elizabeth Craft Designs. We have a fun day. Today is what I like to call a mix and matching day. Hi, Annette, I see you. Hello from Ohio, hi, Gracie. Hi, Terry, Bridget. I think everybody is good. Hello, Barb from Oregon. Janny, hello. So, all right, so let's go ahead and begin. Um, I am Joseph. I am with JN Unique Designs here for Elizabeth Craft Designs. Uh, it's been a long time since I've been back here with you. Hope everybody's doing well. I wanted to share with you a few things that I've been up to. I know that I appreciate you being here live with me um, today. Let me move this platform here. Let's get this out of the way. I don't have, there we go. More room to work. All right, so first off, many of you know, I've been posting a lot of flower cards and for the floral design team, it's been so much fun. Unfortunately, the floral designs from the second release from Anita have been sold out for quite some time. Hi, Karen. Thank you for being here, Barbara. And, uh, but it's coming. It's coming back. And it's coming back very quickly. And so, first off, I wanted to share with you something that I like to call mix and match with me. Today's live is all about mixing and matching and how easy it is to do that. So first off, I want to show you this card. This is a card that I made using multiple different floral designs mixed within the first release and the second release. As you can see, if I pull it up closer, you can see the lace from Elizabeth Craft Designs from Moda Scrap. You can see the petals from the new um, second release. You can see the, the second flower here, along with the stamens. You can see the first four petal flower along with the stamens, and you can see the first set of flowers here with the stamens. Three different flowers all mixed together. You can see what I have done. Thank you, Tracy. <laughs> Your designs have been very lovely. I'm just looking at different types of, you know, different leaves from the strawberry set here, from the different uh, extras. It has been fun to mix and match. I made this card the other day and this is something that I made in honor of the Chinese New Year, the Lunar New Year. And in this card, you can see I took the second release florals and turned them into something kind of like Japanese blossom here. They look like with a branch that came from the Japanese blossom set. I cut my own leaves from a variety of different flowers. And then I created this character. This was the prince from the uh, release from Josette. And I thank you so much for being here. Um, before I forget, the winner of the 
like, comment, and share is Claudia Craig. So thank you for like, commenting, and sharing. Please do like to continue to co like, comment, and share, and uh, you can get a chance to win a $50 gift card to Elizabeth Craft Designs. Going back to this design, there's a lot of different elements here. This was the prince from the fairy tale release from Yosette, and I turned him into a little uh, worker from Asian times carrying a little bamboo here. And then what I did with that was very unique was, if you look at it carefully, is if I pull the card back, it's hollow in the middle. It's hollow backwards. See what I did there? It is a frame. What I did was I put the background between the paper here. I also used Esther's red paper from her book. Hi, Pat. And then on the inside here, in order to hide the message, I added a secondary card. See how simple that was? I have enjoyed making this card so much. Yes, congratulations, Claudia. And uh, like, comment, and share. Continue for your chance for another $50. And Els will be back with you on Wednesday with this live. So, um... I'm gonna show you that, some things there. and But first off, I wanna show you how easy it is. I've been getting a lot of comments from uh, people who are buying Elizabeth Craft Design's Yosette's creations and saying it's difficult to put together. I wanna show you on a contrary how non-difficult it is. We'll be making him in a little bit here, but first off, I wanna show you how I like to do characters from Elizabeth Craft Design's. So first off, I have a folder. I have a folder of die cuts. This is die cuts with Elizabeth Craft Design soft finish white cardstock already on it, along with the double sided adhesive sheets on the back. This is the whole sheets, and somehow when I peeled it off, I kept the brown release sheet um, on there instead of the normal Elizabeth Craft Design's release sheet. It just happened to be that way, so it works either way. You put your glue, your double-sided adhesive on the back of a white piece of paper. And then what I like to do is I cut it in pieces. So like here, this is a tiger. You can see all the pieces are die cut into here with the double-sided adhesive on the back. This is a monkey here. This is the parrot from Yosette. This is the lion. Here's the koala. And here's the prince. This is the prince that we're gonna be making today. So I'll set that aside just to show you how easy it is. So first off, in order to make something as simple as this, I wanna show you how I do it. Whenever I assemble a character, this is again what I normally do, is I take double-sided adhesive and I attach it to a piece of white cardstock. And when attaching it to a piece of white cardstock, this is what you get. A piece of tape on the back and this. I ch uh, cut it into the pieces I need and I'll die cut right into it. I use a Spellbinder fold away is what I use and it seems to work out pretty well where all the pieces are intact as you can see but still easily able to die pu punch through. All right, so first thing for is first, I take a piece of release sheet and I place it on the table on my crafting area. And I look at the pieces I have here and I try to determine what colors are what piece and where do I like it? So I'm gonna start off with a, P a Copic marker E15, which is dark sun, sun tan here, and I'm gonna start coloring. Um, let's see, I'm gonna make this get the hair, the dark sun tan. So I'm just gonna color it as such, you know, not paying attention to too much details there, but as you color through, that's what you get. And then there, there's another piece of his hair right over here so make sure you get all the pieces together. And then I'm gonna take a dark um, ice ocean BG72 from Copic and I'm gonna color the pants. And then, let's see, I think he's gonna have a, a nicer green shirt. So I'll do mistletoe, G46, for the shirt. A 
as you can see. Pretty simple so far. Let's see, he needs. Uh, I need to color the bamboo. I'm gonna make the cape nice and red today. So use the brush side here. So you can see I'm just haphazardly coloring things, mixing and matching, nothing fancy. And then let's see, oh, the top of his cape here should be red. That's the, the clasp at the neck level. I'm going to take a black here, color the belt. Um, I like to use E000 Pale Fruit Pink when I color in the face and the bodies of a human because it gives you that nice little hint. So hands and the neck. Same idea. Let's give this color, let's give him blue eyes today. So I'll color the eyes blue. And then gold for his, um, part of his uniform here. The metal class. And then let me see, let me find a brown or a maroon. We'll give him maroon colored boots. And then what color should I do? I might give him an orange cap. Not typically. There you go. Uh, and then I'll give him some orange gold clasps here. There you go. So now that all your pieces are... Why do we watch... Thank you, Claudia. So look how easy that is. Once you color all your pieces, when you punch it out, your colors, it's already there. See what I've done here? Look how easy that is. See, so punch it out. You know, you're not wasting too much ink, but this is a good way to use Yosette's releases and not have too many issues with it. Not worried to worry about that. I like to leave the small little pieces intact on the paper, just so that you can see. Um, it's easier to get out later. So here's how it works. I already have the pieces already lined up, all already colored. I peel the double-sided adhesive on the back and put it to the side. I'll take the next piece here, lay it on top. As such, I will even peel this piece off, the double-sided adhesive piece off here, off the back of the hair. And I'll stick it onto my release sheet. There it goes. Now that my release sheet is there, I go ahead and pull some tweezers. I'll pull some tweezers and I'll get this piece where the neck is. Pull it off of my sheet here. What I'll do is I'll lift this up so you can see. Right where it's up, there's the two pieces there. I just go ahead and stick in where the neck belongs. See? And then I will pull off the next sheet, next piece, which is... Um, the shirt here, peel that off, and align it so that it matches here. I will take the piece of the hair, and I'll attach it to here where it's appropriate. I'll take the pants. The nice thing about it sitting on a release sheet is that once you create it, it's easy to manipulate, see how I do this? Put it under here, stick it down. I'll even stick his hat on first here. I mean, in the spirit of the new year, the lunar new year, this is how I'm gonna create, recreate some characters. Yes, Denise, they do sell, Elizabeth Craft Designs does do sell via sheets and or via rolls. I use both. Uh, right now is a great time to stack up on it because Elizabeth Craft Designs has a sale going on, 20% off. 
20% off using the code LOVE20. And it ends on ends on uh, Tuesday night, if I'm not mistaken. Anna, if you can clarify that to make sure I got that right, I greatly appreciate that. I think the code is LOVE20. And the double-sided adhesive sheets um, do come that way. Yeah, 20% off, Belinda. Hello, how are you? I'll peel that up, put his shoes underneath here. Take the double-sided adhesive off the back of these. <laughs> Thanks, Honora. I, uh... Hey, Joseph from California, I believe. Thank you for tuning in today. So I'll take that, put that on there. Take some of his boots here. I love these my, these um, tools from BCD. I've had this blue tweezer for quite some time, as many of you who've known following ECD would know. It's been a long time since these came up. These were available. I'll take the hands. I'll pick up the little corner here next to the release sheet. Put the hands underneath here. Take the other hands here. Put it under here. Lift that piece up. Put the hands under here. Put the gauntlets on. How's everybody doing today? It is very cold in Colorado today. Um, I think we are going to be getting a, a weird temperature high of 30 degrees or something like that after a, a negative 16 overnight. It was that way this morning. I'm going to get the eyes out of here. Right in the spot where the eyes belong. There's that. And then I'm just going to pull in a marker here. Excuse my head if I'm in the way. It's kind of hard to see from a, an angle here, but basically, if you're doing it, you can lean in and you can see where everything is. I'll take the bamboo, peel off the double-sided adhesive on the back of that bamboo, and I'll just stick it in his hands here. Stick it in his hands. Take his uh, cape collar here. Put it over the top of this. Put his metal clasp on there. Put his belt together. See, in less than a couple of minutes, you can get a whole entire character together. Now I have two of them. And look, when you peel this off, when it sticks on a release sheet, it's ready to go. You can attach it to a planner. You can attach it to um, any cards you like. Uh, it is a time saver. And look how easy it is. Look how many pieces were in there, but it didn't take me very much time. See, I'll take both of these together and I'll put them on a sheet as such. I'll put them together on a sheet and then they're ready to go. I'll just file that away. And now I have two of my farm workers ready to go. See how easy that was? See how much time you save by doing it that way? And again, this applies to every single type of Yosette's dies. Here we go with, uh, like I was telling you earlier, this is why I die cut. I pre-die cut all of my pieces. And the majority of the time, it just sticks together. It just stays together in the, the sheets here, the white sheets. And, you know, the koala, the lion, here's the parrot, here's the monkey, and here's the tiger. You know, these are some of the extras that I have just lying around, just waiting for me to use them. So, really, today I am going to show you how to make a fun New Year's card 
because the Lunar New Year, the Chinese New Year, is just here and uh, just passed. And I know many of you have seen, I uh, became an uncle for the first time today and uh, this weekend. And it was a great time with the family, great time with Lunar New Year's. And I'm celebrating, I'm still celebrating uh, a joyous event. So I have been a fan of slimlines. So this slimline is a little bit different than the ordinary slimline. And um, this slimline is actually six inches by seven or three in, by seven inches, which you fold in half at three and a half. And I uh, I like to use double sided adhesive on everything. This is Esther's paper here. I use double sided adhesive on the back. I'll go ahead and peel that off. You know, mixing and matching. Look how unique everything works together. I'm gonna to go ahead and place this right in the middle of the card here. Glue that down, there we go. And then I did not put double-sided adhesive on the back of these. My pro my fault, I that was my mistake. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna take some glue here. Open up some Kids' Choice glue. I'll stick it on a leftover piece of paper here that I'm not using at the moment. I'm gonna use my fingers to dab a little bit of glue here and there just to get some glue on the edge here. And that was my mistake. Otherwise, double-sided adhesive works very well for every one of your projects. And again, 20% off right now. I know all of you are commenting very much so, but I am not looking over to the side here. I'm not doing a very good job with that. Brooke, thank you so much. Some glue on here. I think that should be good. I'll go ahead and place this right onto the card, right in the top here. How simple that looks. I will go ahead and then take, oops, I forgot to show you this. So these are the dies that I'll be using today. So the symbol background, number 1734, is the die here. Hello, Diane. 1734, and the cherry blossom, number 1732. These were released, I think, about a couple of uh, months ago, a few months ago from Josette, and I still have them here. On the magnet sheets. I also am using the Prince, which is number 1791, which is this set here, and this is a fairy, so this is another set that I haven't touched into yet, but this is the Prince that I'm using. And then I'm using the Asian Accessories, number 1730. That's where the hat and the bamboo came from. Plenty of other uh, pieces on here that you can and use for your projects. Matter of fact, I might end up using another piece from there. We'll see. How this goes going back to this card here so the Japanese blossom I already went ahead and I put double-sided adhesive on the back of it so I'm gonna go ahead and peel off the release sheet I'm gonna place it right across the front of the top of this tree here or this symbol here as such and then I will take my pair of Elizabeth craft design scissors and I'm gonna snip off some of the branches all the extra branches. But I'm going to leave the symbol intact. So there you go. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and take a brown marker. And let's go with this dark red, actually. Yep, I'm just going to brush over the top of this. The nice thing about it being raised on top of this is you can color on the spot and not have to worry. See how I've done? And any places that you mess up, you just cover it with a flower. See like that? 
or you can color it a head tone. Just like so. And who would I be without doing flowers, mixing and matching, right? So I went ahead and I pre-cut some flowers here. Not from, not from the floral release, but uh, only. So the floral release, this is from, which floral is that? That's the five petal floral. Let me uh, grab the die. I completely forgot about that. That is from floral set release one, number 1775, right there. And these centerpieces, these small little pieces, are actually from the strawberry. The little white flowers from the strawberry. And these little leaves that you see here are from the Japanese blossom dye, where the branch came from. And this is what we're going to be making. I want to show you how easy it is about mixing and matching. Remember what I told you earlier about mixing and matching your designs, your florals? This is exactly what we're doing. So I already went ahead and I followed the same procedure. I had the double-sided adhesive on the back and of soft finished cardstock. This time what I did though is I turned it upside down. And I like cutting into the brown side because it's less slippery. And you, once you put your dies on top, it just sits wherever it needs to sit. And then what I'll do is I will pull out a bottle of glitter, pull my tray here, so I'm not mixing, messing with every, anything. Pull my tray up, set it aside, set these flowers aside. Let's see here, make some room. That's what I've been working on, so pardon the mess there. And I went ahead and opened up my glitter. I know Els has said use wood um, when you're doing your glitter with a Swiffer sheet down below. I highly recommend it. She is a genius when it comes to that. You can see all the different glitters that I have in there. So my, my Swiffer sheet has been well used and have not switched it out yet. So what I'll do is I'll peel the double-sided adhesive off. I'll dip it into my little glitter here, my soft microfine glitter. And that is uh, Vintage Pink number 617 by Elizabeth Craft Designs. See how simple that is. I'll peel that off. And then I'll take this and I'll dip it right into the jar itself. Tap it off. Today is, as I mentioned, it's all about mixing and matching. We're playing with different techniques. We're playing with different dyes. We're playing with different sets of releases. But it's all fun. Let's see if I can get all these off. I keep on uh, thinking to myself, the last time I was here on the live with you, I fell out of my chair. So I'm doing everything I can, my best, not to fall out of my chair today. How embarrassing was that? Not only can you not craft correctly, but falling out of your chair on live was quite interesting. So I'll go dip it in, tap it off, set it aside. I'll go ahead and close the glitter here. Hi, Verna. Well, you're here with me live today. So congratulations. Thank you for being here. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and brush it. You know, I'll varnish it into the tape right here on my Swiffer pad. That way I don't have to worry about it going all over the place. Sandy, it does. It does take talent. I appreciate you saying that because, uh, yeah, I, I am not uh, one to say that uh, I... <laughs> did that planned because falling out of your chair planned is not ever planned I'll take a piece of foam here flip those upside down you know if any of you have 
tools that were released previously from Elizabeth Craft Designs, you can use that. Otherwise, I do have McGill's ball stylus here that I've used. Um, you can also use a, a spoon. You know, I'm gonna show you how I use a little teaspoon here that I got off of Amazon. Just uh, brush it in like that. You know, and the pad will just give away. See how I do that? I'll go around the edge here a couple times on the flower just to give it a little bit more dimension. Set those aside for a bit. Let's get some more in here. Some more dimension in here. So I'll do that. Set those aside for a bit. And then I will take some Distress Oxides. Um, actually, in a little bit here. I'll turn this over and use the back of my uh, tweezer to press down in the center. And then what I'll do is I'll cup it up as such. Flip it back over. Use the inside of my tweezer. Get that. So there we go, put that together. Now, set that aside. I'll take some of um, a little piece of scratch paper that I have here uh, from my release sheet, because I never throw these release sheets away. I'll take my brush. I'll take my yellow brush here. Take some of these centers. right side up and brush these through give them a little bit of color so with these I never you can do them both sides. You can color both sides. I don't color both sides. I just put it back right on top of here. I'll flip the white over on the back side. Save this release sheet for other yellow colors that we'll be doing later. I'll take a ball stylus that I have here. Um, the one that was released from ECD. I'll tap, push down on the corners on the edges here on each petal real quick, just to give it a little bit of dimension. And then I'll flip it over and I'll push it right down the middle. There you go. Next step, take my tweezers. Let's see, I'm missing. Hi, Carrot. No, I did not hurt myself. I fell out of my chair, but uh, I did not hurt myself on live. Why are you doing it upside down? What, uh, Karen, I know you were asking something. Which way your petals to curl up or down? Thank you, Tracy. Yes, you can, depending on the side that you want your uh, flowers to shape, that's how you would normally shape them, either upwards or downwards. So what I'll do is I like to build on spot. I'll take my glue here that I had set aside earlier from Kids' Choice. I'll take my petals, I'll put it right onto my tweezer, dip it right in the glue, and I'll place it down. One here. Take another piece here. Take some glue, put it right here, another piece there. Take this here. One here. You can also do this, pinch it like I normally do here. Take some glue in the middle, stick it up here. There's a variety of different ways of doing it. So don't ever feel like you need to do it one way or another. 
That's the nice thing about these florals is you can do whatever you want. I'll put some there. Maybe I'll take that, that one and I'll put it up here actually. So then I'll take this here, these yellow petals here. I will go ahead and dip it in the glue. Put them up top. See how easy that is? This is one of the sim more simple of cards that I've made. And then we'll go ahead and take one of our characters here that we've created earlier. I think I'm going to go ahead and go with, because I have the other card wearing that one. So this is the one we made earlier. Remember with the double-sided adhesive on the back, I just aim where it at is. Let's see, I'll push them in here a little bit. There he goes. Put them down. Press them down. And voila, you have a card. So what you'll do next is I'll take these Japanese leaves that I already have, I'll pinch them up. No need for too much shaping. You don't have to for uh, Yosette's designs here. And I'll stick it all over. Stick one here. If you want to, you can, obviously. There's no stopping you. It's a nice thing about this release. I'll stick one here. Stick one under the flower here. And what I did was I took the, just some colored cardstock that I had in my stash. There, no need to, you know, go out and color your own. If you wanted to, you can. But see how easy that is? Put some more leaves up here next to this flower. under this flower here give it a little bit more dimension see there you go now yes they are very addicting you see how that looks see how that card looks um and it didn't take us very long it took us 36 minutes since we started this live to put together a character, to put together a card, to form some florals with ECD glitter. I have some glitter here, you know, and matter of fact, I have these dots that I purchased and there's some, I, I will tell you, I uh, there's some places that do sell these, but these are new to the market and I don't know um, anybody online from, uh, as a designer for uh, Joyce, are you here? If you're here, I got these from her. I got these from Joyce at BoQ. Um, but uh, you can get these anywhere. Just different colored gems here. These are pre-filled gems that are not cooperating at the moment, as you can see. But I'll stick some of those in the middle. Just to give it a little bit more color. There you go. Yes, Elizabeth Craft, Belinda, you are correct. Elizabeth Craft Designs um, soft finish cardstock is the best when it comes to flowers. There is no, there is no other out there that is equivalent to that. No matter what you try, there are just, there's just something about the, the paper from ECD that just makes it forming so much better. There you go. That's as simple as that. Look how easy that card is. Easy to go. Put it in an envelope. It can go flat. It can go 3D and it's ready to mail. Look how simple that is. And I promised Els that I was gonna go ahead and do one more for you. I am going to go ahead and try to show you how easy it is, again, to form these animals, uh, put these together. So I'm gonna throw it out there for a couple seconds here and see what you like to see. Would you like to see a parrot, a tiger, a lion, a koala, or a monkey? We'll go ahead and do one more card together before we separate way, part our ways. So if uh, if I see some a couple people here want to put in a word, what animal you like to see real quick, 
Belinda, thank you. Sue, hello. Sue Smith, I didn't see you come on. Do you know or anybody has soft sky, soft finish cardstock? I don't know the answer to that, Honora. Um, Anna, if you are there, can you check to see if there is stock on the soft finish cardstock? The blue, the light blue, sky blue, I believe. So what I'm seeing here is I'm seeing a variety between parrot and koala. Um, so let's just go ahead and do the parrot real quick. There's a lot of pieces there, so you can see how quick and easy it is, again, with what I've done. I'm going to do a different technique, though. I am going to take some Distress Oxide. I'm going to find my green color brush here. And this is Rustic Wilderness. This is Distress Oxide Wilderness, which is the new one from Tim Holtz that came out last release, I believe. I'm going to turn my double side, my release sheet over just so that I have something in case it runs over. I'm going to brush on top of here. I want to show you the beauty of how easy pro projects are if you just do this ahead of time. See how fast I'm coloring these? So that's the body. Make sure you color the right pieces, obviously. I didn't put them in sequential order, which is my mistake, but in the future, I will. That piece already fell out, so I'll go ahead and I'll just brush it like this. Let's see, the, are those wings? Yes, those are the feet. That's white, that's the beak, that's the claws, those are the eyes. Okay, that's all the green that I need. Let's take, bring in the yellow, Distress Oxide. I'll take the yellow here take the beak here and I'll even take the center of the belly here where's that see Kim you are correct look how easy these come together the eyes are there I'm gonna go ahead and take my uh, my tweezers have them ready in my hand Start popping out the pieces here. Start parting, popping out the green pieces here. And let's look at it again. Keep the small pieces together. It makes your life a whole lot easier. Pop out all the pieces. Look how easy it is to color this. Let me do one thing here. So, first off, I'm going to use this release sheet here so that you can see I'm going to assemble right on top of this next to the character. Peel the double-sided adhesive off the back, place it on your release sheet. Take the, the next piece, peel off the release sheet on the back here, and stick it on top. Just because I know where these pieces are, you can always feel free to use the guide, um, the, the, the art on the sheet. pieces being take that off fill that up here put the wings on take the other wings here take the release sheet off Right on in there. I'll take the head here. Take the release sheet off again. Right on here. I'll put the feet on. So again, double-sided adhesive off the back. I'll lift this up. Give this piece back there, right there. Take this piece off. Up there. 
Get the tail off. I think the hardest part for me when doing these projects is literally peeling the double-sided adhesive off. Otherwise, without peeling, <laughs> without that, everything is easy. Look how simple and quick it is to put a project together. Put our, our feet there. Going right about there. Peel the eyes off the sheet. So, let me see here. Sorry about that. Let's just uh, get our eyes set here. I forgot to color these, so let me pull some Copic markers. And we'll make those, give them the parrot some blue eyes. So, what we'll do is we'll peel that off. Put that right on the spot that it needs to be. piece. Peel the double-sided adhesive off. Lift this up behind the release sheet. And get them up there. There we go. Now we have a parrot. Look how easy that was. Doesn't take long. Looks very easy to do. The parrot's too. Anita has some cute animals she has shared into in the past. Yes, you are correct. I love this little parrot. Thank you. Yeah, and it's a great deal right now. If you haven't already, as I mentioned earlier, if you're just tuning in, Elizabeth Craft Designs does have a sale going on right now, which is twenty percent off everything on their store. So go to Elizabeth Craft Designs and make your purchases today and uh it's a great sale it's going on right now and you will not regret it i'm gonna go ahead and do one little bit more here and then we will call it a day i'll take my brushes my distress oxide here i'm just gonna go some of you have asked how i've made my backgrounds and I want to show you how simple I make my backgrounds. They're not very fancy, nothing very particular. I'll take a double-sided, uh, a soft finish cardstock. I'll brush a little bit on here, different colors. Just like, this is a yellow, a distress oxide. I'll take that, how quick that is. That's mustard seed. And I don't know what happened to my brown color, so I apologize about that. Let me see here. Aha, and there's my brush cor corduroy. Oops, all right. I'll take my brush and go around the edge here, just lightly. That's how I do my backgrounds. And there's that. Again, mixing and matching, different techniques, different abilities, different things that you're seeing here. Set that aside. I'll go ahead and place some double-sided adhesive on the back of this real quick. Mm. 
not much time at all. Looking at the comments here, um, making backgrounds. So I'll place it right onto my card. There we go. And look, I can do the same thing with this. I'll take another piece here of the cherry blossom branch. Remove the release sheet. This one I'm gonna leave white because it just fits. Okay, I'll do that. Take my pair of scissors from Elizabeth Craft Designs here and uh, trim off the piece of the extra pieces so that I don't have to worry about it sticking to my mat here. Do that. And then I might just stick this bird on it, right on it. So this parrot, I'll stick them right over here. Look how happy and cheerful he is. There he is. I'll take some extra flowers that I've had here. Those extra ones that we made earlier. Put some, oh, my glue is dry. So let me grab a different glue here. Stick some glue on there, stick some of that on there. Stick that right on there. And there we go. You can always make more flowers to put on there. But look how simple that was. We now have two cards at your pleasure that we made together today. And how simple it was to mix and match the pieces, the sets together. I'm gonna take some leaves real quick just to finish off this one. I think that one flower did not get enough glue on there so I can see it moving. Stick it on there. Stick some leaves. Again, uh, thank you for joining me today. Such a fun live just to be with you all. It's been a long time since I've been back, but I'm happy to be here with you, to share with you how easy it is to make Josette's releases. You know, it's that time of year where uh, we are cooped up in the house from the winter. Last year from the COVID-19, hope everybody's staying safe. And then now we're just getting ready for some play. And there we go. Let's turn that one upside down. Just because I have too many pointed up. And there you go. I will create some more flowers later. And I'll add it to the card. But in short of an hour. Short of 40 minutes, 50 minutes there. We put two characters together. We put two cards together. And that is where we're at. I hope you enjoyed. Let me look at some of the comments here if I missed anything. If there is anything, if there's anything that you need, please feel free to contact any of us at Elizabeth Craft Designs. Um, if you have any questions, info at ecraftdesigns.com is the best place to go. We're all here to support one another, have some fun. And that is my live. I am so happy to have been able to spend the last hour with you. I hope everybody have a great day. And uh, Verna, thank you so, for being here. Belinda, thank you. Jessica, I hope you all have a great day. Stay safe, stay healthy. Remember to like, comment, and share. Go to ElizabethCraftDesigns.com today. Sale ends tomorrow for 20% off your purchase with the code LOVE20. Again, I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.